Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be producing some sodium hexametaphosphate. Now, sodium hexametaphosphate is made fairly simply through the decomposition of sodium dihydrogen phosphate, which I showed how to make in a previous video. Sodium dihydrogen phosphate first decomposes to sodium pyrophosphate and then to the sodium hexametaphosphate. So, we'll be needing about 52 grams of our sodium dihydrogen phosphate here, which we actually produced in a previous video, and we're going to be starting by adding it simply to a metal dish. I have a copper dish here, and this is just nice because it's nice and flexible, which makes it easy to get the product out at the end, but any sort of steel or, or flexible thin metal dish will work for this. We'll also need a blowtorch, and we're going to be heating up into a blowtorch around 800 degrees Celsius to complete the decomposition reaction. One downside of copper is that it will likely contaminate the product just because it seems to slightly react with the copper as the copper oxidizes, but this isn't a big issue because we're just going to be using the sodium hexametaphosphate to produce some white phosphorus. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to find the footage of me using the blowtorch to heat this up. Not sure where that went, but you can see that after heating it up fully to decomposition, it's glassy and green. If you were to do this in a rigid steel, vessel or something, it could be fairly challenging to break out, so doing it in this thin copper dish just makes it easy to smash apart and break into smaller chunks. So after breaking all of this out of the crucible, we have about 42 grams for sodium hexametaphosphate, and we're definitely going to need more for an upcoming video when we make white phosphorus, but this is a fair amount for now. So I'll go ahead and repeat the previous steps to make some more sodium dihydrogen phosphate on my own time and then make more sodium hexametaphosphate so that we can go ahead and finally make some white phosphorus. If you're wondering why I need white phosphorus, I need it to make some phosphorus pentoxide, which is a powerful dehydrating agent. So we'll be doing that in a future video. Anyhow, this is essentially how to make sodium hexametaphosphate from household materials. It can also be made from, or purchased, sorry, online as a food preservative. However, I believe it is cheaper to make than to purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future video. Okay, bye.